G'day folks, LJ Esquire here, coming at you like a bomb from Ho Chi Minh City, aka Saigon, aka one of the greatest cities in all of Vietnam. And I'm here at this beautiful park, which I discovered a couple of years ago when I came here on a holiday. I stayed at a hotel across the street by coincidence and I just love this place. I come down here every morning and do a bit of a light workout and uh, observe the culture. It's so uh, unique and interesting. We'll take a look around in a moment. And uh, today we're gonna introduce you to a few things that are happening around Saigon, including my accommodation, which I've secured. I will be staying here for an extended period, in and out between uh, a few other spots around Southeast Asia. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's do it. Look at this little guy, little hamster looking thing. G'day buddy, g'day buddy, where are you going? Hello, wow, wow I've never got so close. There he goes up the tree. Oh, he looks like he's going to go me. Fairy little guy. All right, buddy, have a good day. The Vietnamese people are so active, especially early in the morning. They're always up early, dancing, playing these racquetball games jogging so it's uh it's really inspiring once you get amongst it you get amongst the energy of it it has an influence on you a positive one just around 7 a.m and you'll see the uh, motorbikes taken off here so my place is just a short walk from here this is district three actually quite a nice part of town kind of just on the fringe of the really busy tourist area so you get a lot of local activity going on a little barn me hook up going on here oh, look at that oh, yeah. making the sandwich look at this guy frying up hamburgers on the street fry up. this is the this is the meat for the barn me which uh, this might be his wife here Dishing up the barn meat, and then we got little Poochie here having a snooze. Hello. Right. My place is tucked down this little alley. <laughs> In the morning, you walk past Mr. Rooster, Mr. Chicken, and this is my place here. Humble little joint. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my apartment. I always like to show you the kind of accommodation I seek out and the cost. It's nothing too fancy, very basic. Pretty good, fairly modern and, and uh, well designed. So guys, this is in a really good location. We're in District 3, pretty close to District 1 actually. So right amongst all the action, tucked down a little alley. And as you can hear, there's no traffic noise. We're miles away from the, from the busy street over there. So, price is 8 million dong per month. No deposit, that includes electricity, water, Wi-Fi. It's safe to say the Esquire got a ripper of a deal. I'll be comfortable here for a month or two. We're gonna head uh, down, hit the streets of Saigon like a bomb. See what's going on and catch up, have a little chit chat. Review my time in the Philippines, Philippines versus Vietnam share some thoughts and feelings and uh, what happened to J Lo Jane let's chat about that okay coffee first let's go get a cobber okay we're heading into town in the grab taxi sometimes I take the motorbike but you know what for the extra 30 cents or whatever it is get the safety and comfort of being in a vehicle 
the motorbike taxi drivers can be a little bit crazy, a little bit dangerous. Here we are down Main Strip. If you're wondering about the cowboy scarf, it's just for some protection. If it becomes a fashion trend worldwide, well, you'll know you've seen it here first. Esquire invented it. Here we go, we've got some interesting things going on here. A little bit of street food action. What's happening all around me? We've got people enjoying it. People are enjoying some, some food. Oh yeah, this one. I've had this one before. Okay, what do we got here? A little casual alley. It's this woman serving up. Ching Jiao. What are what are these? What is it? Ban bowl. Vietnamese cake. Okay, let's let's try one. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. How much? 10,000. 10,000? So cheap. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. Look at that. Enough detail here. It's uh, not overly sweet, but it's. I like the salty taste of the coconut. Mmm. It's really, it's really fluffy. Kind of like a crumpet. See that? See how uh, light and airy it is inside? Mm. Thank you, ladies. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. A little quiet tourist street. A few hotels around. Lots of this uh, kind of. Now, if you come to Vietnam, you're going to need some crocs simply due to the uh, amount of rain that you get here. So when you step outside, all your shoes get wet, so having a pair of Crocs is definitely a must. Amazing specialty coffee. Let's give it a crack. Let's go on here. Oh yeah, this is my kind of place. Your coffee menu here. <clears throat> Let's have a look, guys. What do we got here? Usual suspects. One espresso tonic. Espresso tonic. Yeah. That's all. Have a quick look around. We got a bit of a workspace here. Hello, hello. Okay, cool. Okay guys, got myself a little espresso tonic here. Back on the Vietnamese coffee. I tell you, my first coffee when it came from the Philippines to uh, Vietnam, the very first one I had just absolutely blew my head off. Oh yeah, that's amazing. That really is outstanding. Sit so here, do a bit of people watching. So it was a month in the Philippines and I really fell in love with that place thanks to everyone that followed my journey in Davao City. Had a rad time and I'm planning to go back sooner rather than later. I think it's might even be by the end of this year if not very early next year. I do have a few things going on here. I'm doing a lot of barbershop reviews for you guys that watch me on Instagram and various other channels. I am doing barbershop reviews at uh, a lot of barbershops around Ho Chi Minh contacting me to go and review their shop. So hanging out here, enjoying a bit of that, a bit of man pampering. I'm going to take you to one later today. What else? Yeah, so getting back to the Philippines, Davao City, comparing it to here, look, Saigon is so much more vibrant and uh, clean and, and, and much more of a beautiful city compared to where I was in, in Davao. Davao was a little bit, you know, rough, underdeveloped, but the thing that was great about Davao is everyone spoke English. 
done a little bit of dating and did realise, you know, if there is a place I'm going to settle down and find a missus, it's going to be there. Um, J Lo Jane obviously had a really good time with her. Uh, the video that we made together was only the second time I'd met her, so I was a little bit thrown off by her emotion that she showed when I told her I was leaving. Uh, that really surprised me. Um, but we are keeping in contact, and uh, you know there is there is a bit of an age difference there, so time will tell. Um, I'm kind of at the point now in my life where you know I don't want to do endless dating forever. I know you guys would love to see so many dating videos on this channel but sorry guys I'm not going to do that forever I will eventually settle down and uh, then may continue the couple adventure vlogs that you would have seen many years ago on this channel that would be great to to do that again at some point in my life so what's what's happening in my life at the moment I've been contacted by a dental clinic in Turkey who have offered me uh, a Hollywood smile a beautiful expensive Emax veneers. So I've agreed to go to Turkey in just a few weeks and I'm gonna be reviewing this dental clinic. So anyone that's interested in dental in Turkey, please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, I can assure you I've done a lot of research on this clinic and they are the top rated in Turkey. They're very high standard and obviously they wouldn't be inviting me to go there if they weren't going to do an amazing job for me to show to the rest of the world. So really looking forward to getting my new smile in just, just a few weeks now actually. We'll do a little bit of sightseeing in Turkey. It'll be my first time to that part of the world. So quite excited about that. What else? Thailand. I'm gonna go to Chiang Mai shortly after that because I still have a vehicle there, as you know, Sparky is uh, still registered under my name and parked somewhere at a friend's place. So we might, we might be putting Sparky on the market for sale. If anyone's interested in buying Sparky, reach out to me via email or messenger or whatever. My email will be um, listed down below, but if you're living in Thailand or, or particularly the north of Thailand, reach out to me. Um, we're gonna put it on, online for sale very soon. Yeah, so here we are, Saigon, loving it. Love this place, guys, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's such a vibrant city. You can walk around the city at night and see all kinds of weird and wonderful and wacky things, or just laze around all day at coffee shops and uh, sip on the world's best coffee. All right, that coffee was outstanding. Let's uh, go for a little, let's go for a little wander around these streets, see what else is happening in Saigon. Right, check out this bike. Cool bike. Got some shots. I'm trying out my new Sony camera. Let's have a look here. We've got a few Sheilas here. G'day Cobber. How you doing? Where are you from? USA. Oh, cool. What are you filming? What are you, what are you documenting? Oh, just uh, documenting people like yourself, enjoying uh, the beautiful city of Saigon. I'm yeah. enjoying Saigon very, yeah. very much. What are you munching And I on will there? become back. I don't know, but it tastes really good. <laughs> tastes like a phone cake. Where are you from? Australia, mate. Australia. I want to go to Australia one day. All right, do it. do it. It's expensive, but I'll be there. Pleasure to meet you, man. All right, you too, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, ladies. You speak English? Uh, are you with them? Are you you all together? Oh, these are your. This is your. This this is your wife. No Oh, just friends. Okay. What are you sh What are you shopping for here? You've been doing some shopping. Let's cut the BS. Yeah. You like them, don't you? No, they're very cute. Yes. That's are they, what I thought. Are they twins? <laughs> this guy here. Yeah. I've seen this guy around. The this the local spiritual guru. How you doing, champ? Yeah. All right, we'll keep moving. Hello. Glasses? Look at these. I've already got some glasses. Amazing, very expensive. Yeah. 
$300. She's trying to encourage me to, to buy some of her glasses. But as you know, the, the Esquire wears the, uh, the Enchroma colorblind lenses, which I absolutely love. This is my second pair, actually. Anyone out there that's uh, colorblind and wouldn't mind trying these out, I'll leave a link uh, down below this video. They're, they're outstanding glasses. Really um, enjoy wearing them, love the style, love the vision that they bring. Now, one thing I want to ask you guys watching, because I know there's probably a lot of Vietnam Saigon lovers that might be watching this video. Now tell me, please tell me, where is the best shopping mall in this city? Because I really failed to find any shopping mall that even comes close to anything that that you see in uh, Thailand or, or the Philippines. I just feel like uh, Vietnam is quite behind in the, in the shopping mall scene. But I could be wrong, maybe I just don't know where it is. So anyone, uh, comment below if you have any advice on that. What are you frying up there, champ? Wow, look at that. Fried rice. Fried rice. This bloke's smoking the bong. He's on the bong. Let's go rip a few bongs, mate. He's gonna rip a bong. Ooh. Yeah. Token up. How is it? Good gear? Okay. Good gear? I'm curious for a toke. You should have a toke. The colourful scenes of Saigon streets. Hello. What are you selling here? Selling ma mag magnet keychain. They are beautiful, but sorry, it's not, not really what I'm after. Good luck. Now, I've been down this street a few times. This is like the, the Halal Street. Notice you get a lot of Muslims hanging out here. A few massage joints. Massage and Muslims all coexisting together. What's this guy selling? Look at this. He's selling some drink. If you can't buy a drink, it's for free. It's a gift from God. All right. If you can't afford it, it's for free. How about that? Very generous. One thing I like to do, guys, just to ensure I'm staying healthy during my travels, I always try to get a few coconuts in every day. A few coconut waters, you know? Because everywhere you go in Southeast Asia, you're going to get a lot of these. We're going to have a coconut. I've sat here before and drank coconuts. Yeah, as I said, get in a few of these a day. God's purest food, the coconut. So when you come down these alleys here, you get a lot of dining options. All serving up banh mi, juice, coffee. Even vegetarian food on the menu. The Esquire can get a meal anywhere in this city. Always catering for me. Hello. Right. Little hotels here, hotels and hostels, a little bit of budget. Uh, accommodation quite a strong presence of the uh, of the Indian people here setting up Indian restaurant establishments I did have a little Indian feast the other night it was good now this is interesting we get men out here trying to encourage other men to come in for a massage see not that effective man you need the cute girls out here trying to pull the guys in for a massage I think that's more effective I keep. He wants to give me this this pamphlet. 
I, I won't take it, but yeah, all the best. No, good luck. Okay, he wants me to keep it. All right. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Massage, body massage. This is your, this is your spa, Kathy Spa. <laughs> I can live stream when yes. you massage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the first time I have a customer, live uh -huh. you know. <laughs> Really? Yes. Make you famous. Mm. Not not right now. I will come back another time though. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Do do you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very very friendly ladies here. I've just been chatting with the, the ladies here at, at Kathy Spa. We're going to do a collab sometime. All right, but we're uh, we're not far from our destination. I already have something something planned for you guys, which is just around this corner. Only early in the afternoon, so not a lot happening around here. None of the bars or anything are really fired up. You come down here on an evening, though, the place is pumping, absolutely pumping. Got a special treat for you guys, very special treat. It's this place behind me which is called Barber Triple Eight. Barber Triple Eight, which I have uh, I have shown on my Instagram before. So we are gonna go inside here and check it out. Here we go. Triple Eight Barbershop, stunning place. And they offer a wide range of treatments here. Thanks for having me today. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we'll go upstairs and uh, have a look at the private room. I'm here with my therapist. How are you? Thanks for joining the video. What's your name? Zimi. Okay, thanks for joining. Okay, so we got we got this beautiful room here, and my cameraman has is just uh, he's just stepped out. We're going to shoot shoot some treatment in here. It's going to be great. Alright, stepping out of Triple Eight Barber, feeling like a new man, refreshed. Guys, why aren't you coming to these places? We're seeing a lot of Korean guys, Japanese, Chinese, all going to these places. Where are all the Aussies and Americans? Come on, Esquire wants to put these places on the map. So Triple Eight Barber, I'm putting it at the top of my list. What a great idea, shaving, pampering. Skincare, all these things are important, guys. I tend to not eat too much before I go for those treatments, so now we got that out of the way, it's time to go find a big feed and uh, maybe even a brewski. What do you reckon? We're right here in Bowie Vienne. Oh, we're going to check out some of the food options here. You get all these kind of. This must be Thai, Thailand food. Got some Thai riding up there.
there's been a bit of rain. It has been quite rainy in Ho Chi Minh since I've been here. Something you need to uh, deal with. Sometimes I want to step out in the evening and it's pissing down, but it must have been raining while I was in the uh, barber. All right, now we've got another, we've got another little alley down here. Let's get our balls down here. See what happens. This is interesting. These guys are trying to trying to direct me in there. Prices are quite cheap in this joint. Let's go in here. I can sit right here and do a bit of people watching. Not that there's much traffic. Okay, dinner has arrived. Looks sensational. Look at that. The price on the screen. Pineapple juice here. Alright, I just demolished that feed. Absolutely sensational. Can I have the bill? Bill. A few nice Sheila's going, going by down this alley. Not sure what goes on down there, but I, I want to find out. We're going to find out in a sec. Very good, very good food. Look at that. Only 105 dong for that. Very cheap. That's the name of the place anyway. Good little spot. All right, look at this. Oh, we get some nice lighting now. Look at that. The light is bouncing off the camera lens beautifully. Oh, this is majestic, this little alley. Look at this. You just don't know what you're going to see. Magic and mystery around every corner. There's these little cute little restaurants all along here. We've got a reggae bar here. I have been up there one night. Hello, massage ladies are out. Spruik in the massage. You can get yourself into a bit of trouble if you come down this alley in the later hours of the evening. So I've been told. No thanks. There is a good beer spot. My, one of my favourite, most favourite beer spots in all of Ho Chi Minh. If we can get a table, we'll be laughing. It is looking busy. It's called Rooster Beer. And I may have, I may have bought you guys here once before. It's pretty busy actually at the moment. I got another idea. I, I was going to drink at Rooster, but there's one other spot that I don't mind because I did drink at Rooster with you guys before. So we'll go a little further. We can enter the walking street by day. Won't be much happening, but that's all right. Look at this beautiful lady here with the with the head, uh, the traditional head wear on. Hello, I, I like your dress. <laughs> this is a nice looking restaurant. Look at that, right on the corner here. Okay, we're going in. A few more ladies wearing this uh, particular headwear that you only see in Vietnam. That's pretty cool, hey. But here you can see you got the the go go bar action. It's only 5:30 p.m. So obviously no uh, no crazy action happening yet. A few more dark alleys to get your balls down. A few more dark alleys. If you're into a bit of mischievous exploring, you can get down a few of those alleys. Look. Look at these ladies. Wow. wow. Look all look beautiful. Oh. Okay. And they, they just go to so much effort with the presentation, I love it. It's the way they put up their lanterns and 
nice lighting and everything. It's really something. I'm seeing a lot of these ladies wearing the traditional dress out tonight. A couple of stunners here. Hello, hello. Okay, now this is where I usually pull up. Somewhere along here, they've got some craft beers on the menu. I think it's this one. Yep, it is. As I always remember, this sign here. We're going in to check the beer selection. Okay, what's this one? Pilsner. Yes. We're going to have a crack on the Pilsner, guys. One. Yeah. Yeah, one of those. One of those. Okay, I'm sitting out here. What a day it's been. Okay, she's giving me a nice frosty glass. Look at that. Cool. I've had a few Pilsners around Vietnam, and I tell you what, they have all delivered. It's a 5.2% alcohol. Nothing too crazy. You've got to read the labels though, because some of them are like eight, seven, eight percent. So, right there we go, guys. Got a nice crisp, cold one. I just wanted to finish this vlog with a beer with you guys and say thank you. I'm trying to be more consistent on this channel so there's not much planning we're just going out and we're letting it happen i hope you enjoy it regardless say g'day in the comments see you in the next one bye bye